Phoenix, us breaking the sim basically. Well, I released, I released, I tied together the 2178 holography collapse from my The Archaics Paradox video. I tied that with the Phoenix because it is on the Phoenix chronology 100%. So it tells me that the Phoenix is a part of the simulation. The, from the very beginning, Phoenix was keeper of the calendar. It doesn't matter how many times, how many civilizations, dictators, and rulers altered events and altered timekeeping systems to throw off the people. The people would always know exactly where they were in the, in the divine chronology because when the Phoenix came, it didn't deviate. And the proof of this is that in 713 BC, the year changed from 360 days to 365.25 days. The Phoenix could never appear every 138 years after that. It would be altered to 136.5 years, 137 years, 137.5. It would change, but we don't get that change. That means we're dealing with different coding pro protocols that are running simultaneously, even though in a real universe they couldn't operate in tandem. It's impossible. The Phoenix should not be reappearing in the month of May every damn 138 years. It's not possible if the days of the year changed by 5.25 days a year. It's impossible. They would run out of sync. You would get a calculator. You get a calculator and you add it all up and you'll see that after, after four or five passes of the Phoenix, you're way off. So it tells me that the Phoenix is a benefactor. I know this is hard to understand, but it's a benefactor protocol. Yes, it causes horrific shit. Yes, it causes all kinds of things. But I'm I'm really starting to wonder if it's not specifically designed just to take out the elite. Make sure that the ruling families can never just get totally out of control. So, anyway, let's move on. <clears throat> 